Denis Shapovalov is a professional tennis player. The young Canadian has been able to impress audiences from around the world who love the sport. He's the youngest tennis player to reach the top 30 since 2005. Dennis has risen to fame through his immense talent in tennis. He has performed well against many world-class players on the court and has earned his spot on the top. So far, the young sportsman has won many titles and made his country proud. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit! And today we'll be looking at the journey of Canadian tennis sensation Denis Shapovalov. But first things first, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do consider doing it. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so um, keep them coming, yeah? Shapovalov was born on April 15, 1999, to parents Tessa Shapovalova and Viktor Shapovalov, who were both Russian-Israeli citizens. His mother Tessa was born in Ukraine and played tennis for the Soviet national tennis team. She later migrated to Israel with Victor during the collapse of the Soviet Union before immigrating to Canada. Dennis was raised in Vaughan, Ontario by his parents. He also has an older brother, Evgeny Shapovalov, who was born in June 1996. Though not much information is known about his brother, Dennis has shared many pictures of his older sibling on his Instagram account. Dennis's mother worked as a tennis coach at the Richmond Hill Country Club, where he started playing tennis at five and quickly became obsessed with the sport. His mother, Tessa, soon resigned from her job and opened her own tennis academy in Vaughan and named it Tessa Tennis. This was done mainly to help him with the training and give him a home base, while also teaching the game to other juniors. The young talent went on to attend Stephen Lewis Secondary School in Vaughan. Dennis started playing tennis when he was just 5 years old. By the time he was 13, his mother couldn't handle him on his own and had to hire Adriano Fiorivia as his coach. With Adriano's guidance, Shapovalov won numerous junior and ITF titles including the 2015 US Open Junior Doubles title and the 2016 Wimbledon Junior Singles title. The Canadian won his first junior title at the ITF G5 in October 2013 at Burlington, Ontario and won his second title the following year in the same event. That same year, he won the singles and doubles titles at the ITF G4 in San Jose. He won his second Grand Slam at the US Open in September 2015 and the doubles title with Felix Auger Elysium. A month later, Dennis and his Canadian comrades Felix and Benjamin Sigoin clinched their first Junior Davis Cup title in Canada's history. Dennis was able to capture his first G1 singles title after winning in Roehampton. A week later, he became the third Canadian to win a junior Grand Slam singles title with a win over Alex de Menor at the 2016 Wimbledon Championships. Throughout his junior career, Shapovalov collected a total of 86 wins and 32 losses. The Israeli-born Canadian achieved his first professional doubles title at the ITF Futures in Pensacola in November 2015. In 2016, the young talent reached the ITF Futures final in Sunrise, Florida. He went on to clinch his first professional singles title after defeating Pedro Sakamoto at the ITF Futures in Weston. He also managed to reach the Challenger Bank National de Drummondville semi-finals, where he defeated his first top 100 player Austin Krajcik, before losing against British professional Daniel Evans. His loss at the semi-finals pushed him to win his second and third titles at the ITF 25K in Memphis and ITF 10K in Orange Park. He defeated American professional Tennis Sangren, ranked 286 in the world at the time. The Wonder Kid from Canada defeated Australian professional Nick Kyrgios to win his first tour-level match. However, 
Danis lost the next round against Bulgarian professional Grigor Dimitrov who was ranked at world number 40. Since then, he has achieved a lot. He has managed to reach the semis of Wimbledon in 2021 and also managed to reach the quarterfinals of the US Open in 2020. At the 2020 US Open, Shapovalov secured victories over Sebastian Korda, Kwon Son Wu and Taylor Fritz to reach the round of 16 for the first time since his Open debut in 2017. He won against Belgian professional David Goffin in four sets, but lost to Spaniard Pablo Carreno Basta in the quarterfinals. Following his development and progress, Shapovalov reached his career-high ranking by reaching the top 10 for the first time. The young lad is having the prime time of his career and has been decorated as one of the best tennis players globally. So far, he has won over $8 million throughout his career. He has been endorsed by multinational companies like Nike, Yonex and BioSteel. He also signed partnership deal with Tag Heuer in 2019. Though Dennis is still young, we can be sure that the professional athlete will increase his fortune in the near future. Dennis has been sponsored by Nike for his clothing and by Yonex for his rackets. Dennis currently uses the Yonex V Core 95 with Yonex Poly Tour Pro and Wilson Natural Gut Strings. The professional sportsman has been using the lightweight racket for a long time and doesn't seem to be switching to another in the near future. He has also made some alterations to his racket by adding lead in the hoop and some silicon in the handle increasing its weight. The Canadian-Israeli sports personality Shapovalov is currently in a relationship with Miriam Bjorklund, a Swedish professional tennis player. The lovely couple has been dating since June 2019 and they have shared many pleasant moments. Dennis loves to post pictures of his girlfriend Miriam and calls her his best friend. The duo also trains together for their competitions to make the most of their time. Though the pair has been publicly open about their relationship, the couple has not shared any details about taking their relationship to the next level. Dennis was also rumored to have previously dated Penny Oleksiak, a Canadian professional swimmer. Penny was seen cheering for the tennis player while sitting next to his mother Tessa. Dennis was coached by his mother Tessa for many years. Following his performance and development in 2017, his mother added Rob Steckley to his coaching team after the exit of coach Martin Lorando. Steckley coached Dennis for two years before ending their connection in 2019. The same month he was reunited with his junior coach Adriano Fiorivia and competed in the ATP Cup 2020. Tessa later added former Russian professional Mikhail Eugeny who was ranked world number 8 in his career. He became Shapovalov's shot selection coach depending on Dennis's weak point. And with that, it's time for us to call it a day. But we show sure hope that you liked the video and found it informative. And if you did, then, well, you know the rest. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.